Welcome back to Pet Project, everybody. We're here once again with Becca Lawrence from the Lloydminster and Community SPCA. How are we doing this week, Becca? We're doing really good. How are you? We're doing great. And I'm really excited to get to talk to this little <laughs> kitty here. Been very sweet the entire time we've been chatting before yes. the uh, the segment here. And this is Canna Lily, correct? This is, yep, yeah, this is Canna Lily. Yeah, so she came in to our care probably about a month or so ago. She was a stray from Lashburn. And uh, we noticed here, if she'll look at the camera for you, but uh, if she, we noticed that she's got a bit of a crooked jaw. And so we found out that um, that she, uh, we, we don't know what happened to her, but we found out that uh, her jaw is a little bit, a little bit uh, broken, but it was quite healed, about 75% healed. So we don't really see much of a, a need to kind of reset it or anything like that. But she did um, put her teeth out of alignment a little bit. So she does need a tooth or two removed. And uh, so we are currently going to fundraise money for her to, to get that tooth removed out of, out, out of her mouth so she can continue eating safely. Yeah, of course. So if anybody out there wants to help out, like uh, this is a perfect opportunity. You know, your dollars are going to go straight to helping this cat live a better <laughs> and more fulfilling life. And just while we're on the topic, Becca, you guys do regularly accept donations for your medical funds, correct? Yeah, yeah. Like if uh, you go onto our website, then you'll see the Barney's Wish Foundation, I believe. And uh, so that goes all towards our sick and injured animals. So if we ever get an animal in that, uh, you know, is, you know, in a lot of pain or obviously a broken leg, anything like that, that's what that money goes towards. We do have a spay and neuter account and the sick and injured account, too. So we do have the separate separate accounts for different obviously different issues beautiful all right so if anybody out there specifically you know you want to help uh, uh you know the next animal who comes in with an issue to get fixed you know <laughs> you certainly can donate and do that and that would be great um and we are also speaking becca you guys are looking for fosters right now i know it's the spring season means cats are out having kittens so you know yeah. i imagine you're you're uh looking to the future and seeing probably a population rise in your shelter yes yeah, so I mean, we just even on Friday, we had a mom and seven kittens come in. So, you know, it, it, it does seem to be a little bit easier for us to find um, fosters that want to take in kittens and mamas and kittens, just because obviously they're so nice and cute and mm -hmm. easy to take care of most of the time. Uh, but what we are really trying to build a foster base for, you know, even if we have behavior dogs that just aren't comfortable in the shelter um, or, you know, cats with broken legs, dogs with broken legs, just so they have that time to heal and they're not taking up a kennel. And, um, you know, just, just any of those, you know, different cases, you know. So obviously, like I said, you know, our mums and our kittens tend to find fosters quite quickly. But, I mean, we are looking at fosters for bottle babies. So that's a little bit more, you know, a little bit more, you know, <laughs> a bit more to take care, uh, yeah. take care of and take on. So, uh, you know, we are trying to find, you know, people that are really interested in that and, you know, willing to put in the unfortunate tiring hours for that. <laughs> But, you know, anything, like, we're, we're just literally looking for fosters for every scenario that we could possibly run into right now. Well, there you go. If anybody out there wants to help out, you know, uh, with actual time, maybe you don't have the money, but you have, uh, you know, some free time that you would like to donate to the SPCA. That's a great way to do it. And as Becca was saying, you know, with those bottle-fed kitties, uh, I grew up on a farm, and I had to bottle-feed a, a kitty or two in my day. It's the cutest thing in the world. It's adorable. You're going to want to see it. Yeah. So definitely <laughs> sign up for the program. Um, and Becca, you were also, uh, we spoke last week a little bit, but you guys are looking for volunteers coming into this spring just for help around the actual shelter. So um, yeah. how does that look going for you? Really good. You know, we still are having, you know, constant uh, applications coming in and I'm sending out all the information for them. So, you know, so we're really hoping to see some more faces here at the shelter soon. And then, um, you know, and put in that it's for anything really too, just kind of like our foster base, you know, like if uh, anybody is handy in fixing stuff or anything like that and they want to, you know, volunteer with us, that's something that we can do too. So, I mean, again, just like our fostering <laughs> situation, we, we are accepting volunteers for any aspect around the shelter. Beautiful. So there you go. If you have any sort of special talents, you know, if you're a handy guy or lady out there, certainly why don't you give the SPCA a call and see if you can help them out. Now, Becca, we're almost out of time and uh, Canna Lily looks like she wants to take you away. So, uh, you know, we'll let you guys go and you can go and pet her and, and uh, give her the attention she, she so obviously desires. So yeah. I just want to say thank you once again, Becca, for speaking with us. And uh, we look forward to chatting again next week. 
Absolutely. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Manage your waste and recyclables with Quick Pick Waste Disposal. 100% locally owned and proud to serve and support the communities we call home. Quick Pick, the convenient solution to avoid pollution.